Happy Friday, gang. It's uh, Chris Angel coming at you with another episode of Marketing for the Rest of Us. Marketing for the Rest of Us. Yes, I love saying that. It actually feels good. I feel like I'm with my friends and my tribe talking about marketing in a way that that is relatable rather than a way that is uh, unrelatable. So yesterday I asked, what are your questions about marketing? And I would answer them in upcoming episodes. So yesterday, Andrea gave me a question Thank you, Andre. It was about, uh, she heard that Facebook had changed their algorithm again and that if you were uh, asking people to comment or share, Facebook would throttle your post and not give you love, uh, et cetera. And so she felt like she couldn't keep up with all the changes in algorithms and wanted to know, well, what do I do about that? Like, how do I keep up with all of this? So I want to demystify these uh, sneaky algorithms, right? First of all, to do that, we need to step into some understandings of the bigger picture here, right? So understand that Facebook, let's use Facebook as the example, but you could sub Instagram or Twitter, or whatever, but we're gonna use Facebook in this example. Facebook has a is a business. It has a software called Facebook that people come on to and use. Those are the users. And Facebook wants its experience to be good for its users, meaning, you and I, the consumer who are scrolling through Facebook every day, Facebook wants that to be a good experience. So they then, to do that, try to figure out what algorithms do they need to create in order to have the content, the right content, the relevant content, the content worth engaging in, show up in the news feed of people so that people keep using the platform, right? Because if what happens if you start having spammy content then your users leave. And if your users leave, your ad revenue drives up and now your stocks, uh, stock price plummets and you go out of business. So Facebook and other businesses are highly invested in having their platform be a good user experience, okay? So that being said, um, this is, uh, I heard a couple of years ago, Gary Vaynerchuk said, marketers ruin everything, which is just awesome because it's true. So, Marketers come in and go, oh, look at this platform called Facebook. We can run ads and we can we can uh, we can get an organic engagement and we'll ask people to share our posts and comment on our posts. And so now they're trying to hack the algorithms in order to get people to buy stuff, right? You understand? Like when people are trying to hack stuff like that, they're trying to force a decision. They're trying to force an action. They're trying to not be taken advantage of by the platform. So we're gonna take advantage of the platform. And you can, hold, you can listen, you can just see the whole uh, heart of this, this interaction, this relationship, this dynamic is like not from the right place. It's not from the right place. So th that's important to the moral of the story here. We'll get, we'll, and we'll get to that by the end. But listen, marketing in 2019 in the tribal economy Marketing has to come from the right place. And if what, you're, if what you're all about is trying to hack an algorithm, then you'll never win because Facebook will change its algorithms when they start seeing how marketers are ruining it because the marketers ruin the platform for the users, right? And so once the marketer ruins the platform, the business changes its algorithm. And then the marketers learn how they changed it. And so then they try to adjust their spammy tactics. And then the business changes the algorithm again. So do you see like the business is always ahead of where marketers are ruining things. And then and then there's you and I, the rest of us, right? there. And then there's the rest of us. This is why I love this show, right? Marketing for the rest of us. And then there's us. Left with like all these people who have hacked algorithms trying to teach us and sell us stuff about how to hack algorithms. And we're like, I don't know, they said I should do this and I'm trying to figure out how to just have somebody like my post. and. And, and we're trying to learn from the people who are ruining the platform. And, and then once we learn finally what it is that we're supposed to do to hack the algorithms from the people who are ruining the platform, the business then goes and changes the algorithm. And we're like, crap, I just learned it. Do you see the game, right? Because then the people who are out there, the early adopters and the inventors, the people who know how to hack algorithms go out and they hack the new algorithm. They love this little game here, right? Let's go figure out the next thing to do. And they learn it enough and then they come back and tell us, right? They sell us their courses and tell us how to do it. And then we're like, oh, I guess that's what we're supposed to do. But by the time we even get in the game, Facebook's changing the, they're, they're already in motion 
to change the algorithm. The early adopters have already been messing it up enough to where when we, the masses, get into the game that the, that the hackers are trying to tell us how to hack algorithms, Facebook's already in the process of changing their algorithm. So congratulations, that's a game you can't win. But look, guys, if you just understand that this is so much simpler than it needs to be, right? Or than, it, than, it, than people make it out to be. Facebook wants a good platform. So let's just talk about what makes a good platform. A good platform means good content. When, when you have content that people want to engage in, when you have content that people, at, without having to ask to, sh to like or share, you, listen, guys, you shouldn't have to say, please like or share my post. If your share is, if your post is worth sharing, if your post is worth sharing, people will share it. If your post strikes a chord in my heart, I like it. You're not creating content for likes and comments and shares. You're creating content to make a difference. You're creating content to contribute to humanity. And that is exactly the kind of content creators that Facebook wants. They want people that make their platform better. Facebook wants people, wants marketers who make their platform better. Okay? So when you start to try to do stuff that forces people into action, right? Hey guys, like my post. Hey guys, share my post. Hey guys, you're starting to make the platform spammy. And so Facebook starts to pick up that, oh, there's a lot of people now asking for people to like and share their posts, and then they'll change their algorithm. So if you don't wanna be a prisoner to the algorithm, then all there is to do is be a human, create content worth sharing, have really good uh, engagement with your tribe. Stop trying to get likes from the world and just go get likes from your tribe. Go create content that's worthy of your tribe. Some of you might be, um, wrestling or struggling with the content because you, you're trying to create content for everybody. But listen, when you create content for a very specific audience that has a very specific problem and you speak to that problem, your content becomes worth commenting, liking, sharing, etc. And it's not about the algorithm anymore. In other words, look, what, you know, if you think about it this way, we're actually ahead of Facebook and the algorithms and trying to, if, as long as we know how to stay relevant, to Facebook's user, which is a human being. As long as we know how to stay relevant to a human being, then we're always ahead of the algorithms and we're always relevant to Facebook's user or humanity. There's way too much emphasis right now on hacking algorithms. It's when you, when you start to see that we're the ones, the rest of us, marketing for the rest of us, all of us over here who want to market from a place of authenticity, transparency, vulnerability, humanity, that we're the ones who actually are, uh, what's the word, um, uh, exempt from the rules. We're exempt. We're exempt from the rules because we just always create content that matters to our tribe. And we don't care if the algorithm picks it up or not or penalizes us or not because we create it for our tribe. You didn't create it for a like, a comment, or a share. You're creating it to make a difference. Now, let's, go the, let's take this a step further. Part of, if you are creating content for humanity and not for algorithms, then what happens is, you can go network your content and it's not, it, Facebook is simply a place to deliver. It's a, it is a tool, it is a delivery mechanism of your content, your message. So many people in marketing that try to hack algorithms try, feel like Facebook is the king of the hill. Like, oh, Facebook is the thing that tells me how I'm supposed to do stuff. No, no, humanity will tell you how to do, in, how to do stuff. In fact, humanity is telling Facebook how to do stuff. That is exactly how Facebook comes up with its algorithms. What would make our platform more uh, enjoyable for our user? Who's the user? Humanity. So stop trying to play so much to the algorithms and just create good content 
for your tribe. Don't create your, your content for all of Facebook. Create your content for your tribe. And when you do that, all of a sudden you're relevant to who? Who are you relevant to? Who is, who is likely to comment, like, and share your post? Who? Your tribe. That is the game, gang. That is the game. And Facebook doesn't tell you that. They just tell you that, or, or the people who have tried to hack their system tell you, you're supposed to post, like you get the best action if you post five to seven times a day. And then we hear post five to seven times a day and we don't hear be relevant to humanity. Do you see? So this is the game for the rest of us. Marketing for the rest of us comes down to not worrying about algorithms. You just go share your message. You just go share your message. Some will find you, some won't find you. Face, maybe Facebook throttles you, maybe it doesn't throttle you, but it doesn't matter because your heart is in the right place and you're speaking your truth to your tribe. For most of you, 95, 98% of you, at this point in your marketing life, that is all that matters. You're too concerned about the algorithms and you're not paying enough attention to your message. Come back to me when you've mastered your message, and then we can talk about what role does algorithms play? How can we partner with algorithms, not trying to hack them, not being threatened by them, but how could we partner with how the algorithms work to get more reach? But if you're not mass if you haven't mastered your message then that is way premature you're not even ready for that conversation and yet you're worried about it you're not ready for that you go do a daily show like i'm doing right now you go do a daily show for 30 days 60 days a year and then come back to me and talk to me about algorithms but for now most of you just need to hone in on your message for humanity okay and and what i think you'll find is that Guys, like, look, I'm not worried about algorithms. There is a secondary place in my mind for algorithms. I am not ignoring it. I'm not naive to it. Like when I create YouTube uh, for our agency clients, right? When we do content marketing for clients. When we create YouTube descriptions or we uh, create the name in the MP4 file for YouTube, we actually name it specifically. Like we're, we, we're more intentional than not for how would this show up in a search result. Well, that's an algorithm, right? But I'm not concerned primarily with the algorithm. I'm primarily concerned with what it is that you have to say to the world. And most of you, like I said, just haven't spent enough time in articulating your message. You need more at bats with your message. You need to talk about it more. And then we can come back and look at what is the secondary role of an algorithm in terms of your your business. Frankly, algorithms are about organic traffic. And if you like, you really want to go uh, explode your business, your traction, your growth, your leads aren't going to come from organic traffic. You're going to get leads from a paid ad strategy. If you have a, if you have a really tight and dialed in paid traffic strategy, you're going to get better, more consistent results than organic. Algorithms are all about organic stuff, right? Algorithms are about organic stuff. And that's a long play. So rather than like trying to, in the long play, please the algorithm, just go in the long play, speak to humanity, and then go learn a, a paid traffic strategy in order to create a cause and effect um, steady increase in your business, okay? All right, that's what I have for you tonight, gang. Happy Friday. We'll catch you tomorrow for another episode of Marketing for the Rest of Us. Until then, uh, take care. You guys can go to mygroundswell.com to learn more about the marketing agency that we have, what we do for people. Uh, until tomorrow, see ya.